Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna talk about how you might be too fat to ride the new Mario rides at Universal. Yeah. I, okay, I gotta take a moment to appreciate the image that Mr. Milo, our, one of our writers, Mr. Milo, put this article together. And I have to take a moment to appreciate the image that he went with as a featured image. It's funny. You're too fat. You're too fat to ride the rides at Universal. Um, Ironically enough, we're talking Mario Kart. Mario might not be able to fit into this car. That's a good he's, point. He eats a lot of pasta. I don't know why the guy's so fat when he's jumping. He eats a lot of flipping. mushrooms. He eats a lot of mushrooms. They're, yeah, they're very, very high in, in fat, I guess. I don't know, fat content. We're gonna, we're gonna. Get high in something. <laughs> he's, maybe he's not actually fat. That's just the way he appears to himself. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about this uh, because this is not unusual. Most theme parks now, uh, there is usually a debate over the size of the ride vehicles and who they can accommodate in Universal. Universal is not as friendly to heavier people as like Walt Disney World. Yeah, Disney. Um, as Disney likes to call them, they're poo-sized yes, guests. Yes, they call them poo-sized. But uh, there are actually multiple blog articles out there about which rides you can ride if you're heavier and which rides you might want to pass on. And a lot of Universal rides even have test vehicles that you can get in and see if you're actually going to it's pretty, fit. I mean, it's pretty embarrassing for people when they get to the front of the ride and then they basically can't fit and then they have to do the walk of shame off the ride because they can't fit on a ride. And sometimes they aren't even that big and that you're like, well, then they should be so fat. Sometimes they, the, the, it's, you're not even that big. It's just you won't fit. Um, I have a problem with the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. At Disney, I, I can't ride it. Well, I mean, I can ride it uncomfortably, but my legs are too long. Yeah, you're too tall. I'm too tall, so I can't fit in the seat. So and my, that's what's going to happen here. I think people are going to be too tall. Yeah, my legs are uh, literally up on the headrest of the person in front of me. And now I can do it. I can do it if I'm in the front, I think, because of the way it is. But yeah, I have a, I have a heck of a time with it. And uh, I have back issues. So being folded in half, even that for, actually caused you more back issues last did. time. I called it the seven dwarves mind pain. pain. And a lot of people have problems with that because the seats, I guess, the, the, the butts are carved out. So you, yeah. your butt has to be able to fit in that, that divot. And if your butt's wider than the divot, it's not going to work. So let's let's uh, let's talk about this here in relation to Universal, and uh, of course we're gonna. I guarantee you we're gonna have the internet pounce on this. Be like, well, it's bad enough that they've got J.K. Rowling in the park, and now they're fat shaming people Probably. too. Even though this has been going on for years. The other side of it will be, well, people weren't so fat, then they, you yeah. know they should just shut up because obesity is your disease. You know? <laughs> but then they they empty you into the gift shop, which has all the pastries and stuff. <laughs> Is that what happened? I think so. I think I think they do. But anyway, we'll, we'll talk about this. Before you do it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views. And Rance guys, over 290, almost 291,000 yeah. subs. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, greatly appreciated. Yeah, so Universal Hollywood's Mario Kart ride is going to have a 40-inch waistline limit. Okay, so what's going on is they basically just copy the ride vehicles from Japan, yes. which is the problem because in Japan, overall, people are smaller than in America, not just by weight, just by build, height, many other factors. So, um, and I guess over there, that you they, they have actually like things in place that their people have to keep like their waist down to a certain size in Japan or their employers get fined. For you being fat. Wait, what? I, I, that's what Mr. Milo said. If you go up here, you'll see it. Go up, go up in the article. They were talking about it. Or is it down here? Yeah, there it is. Um, they said that there's laws in place to help prevent weight health-related problems. Men's waists are not to exceed 33.5 inches, and women's are not to exceed 35.4 inches, or risk employer being fat taxed. I don't I don't know. I mean, there's a link, but I, I, I can't speak to that. That's nuts. But yeah, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't really matter because they, all these vehicles are designed mostly for overseas audience. Disney, the same thing with the Tron coaster that was designed for Shanghai. Yeah. And I think they're going to, they might run into some issues with that one as well. And they have vehicles. I don't think it's like allows for a lot of extra weight either. They'll have to turn the, the light cycles into uh, like light ATVs or something for people to. That's me. No wheels on them. I mean, that's, they do have a vehicle though that you can that you can sit in. It's not a motorcycle vehicle. For those who can't like maybe bend or whatever, they have like just a basic seated seating car. Lots well, like ET. ET um, has has that too. If you can't fit on the bike. But, but you yeah, know, here's the thing: some people can't just bend that way or whatever. But here's the thing: I mean, they said the difference is they said the average height and the average Japanese person being five two, average American being five eight. So it's not just you know extra weight around your waist. They said the average waist size in the in the U.S. is forty inches. 
which isn't you know, a healthy weight. I'm not going to say it is. But, yeah, you but know, that's not like ginormous either. No. I mean, that's, that's, so you know. a lot of people are going to struggle with this attraction. Yeah. And uh, it seems like they didn't take that into consideration. They just brought the exact same ride vehicles over here. Now, I'm hoping when they do Orlando, and Mr. Milo mentions this as well, that they actually rethink that. <laughs> they do sometimes um, when they bring rides over. But, yeah, I mean, and again, a lot of the – Ride vehicles are designed for overseas audiences, or they're not really thinking it through. Mine train, again, I don't have, I don't know what they were thinking with that because it just even from a height standpoint, it was designed like a kiddie coaster. But even the Harry Potter rides, they, I mean, these these rides have been around for you know ten years now, and they have test vehicles. They do, um, and you know, just because you fit in test vehicles doesn't I mean you're going to fit in the ride when it's moving either, because. Um, I, I think people have heard stories, you know, they get, they, te- they do the test field, get up to the front, still don't fit. So, I mean, I, I've seen a horrifying videos too. Now, hopefully they, they check, but like that one video, uh, on YouTube, there's a heavy set kid on a roller coaster and the lap bar didn't go down or the shoulder heart, whatever didn't go down. So he was basically just being, you know, hanging on for dear life and they didn't latch it and check it to see. Um, I had a problem on test track. It had nothing to do with my weight, but test track. Because oh, yeah, I remember this. The guy in front of me had the belt stretched the whole way out, and I couldn't I couldn't get the belt to latch in time, and they were going to run the ride. Without. I flagged them down. Yeah, I'm like, hey. He had I'm to reset the entire belt. In. I mean, honestly, test track, I probably would have been okay. I could have held on. but if I, I don't know. When you come up around the ending, it's pretty, you know. know. But they fixed it. They had, to, they had to do something to reset the belt, but they fixed it. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's 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 going to be a problem because a lot of people aren't tiny, and it doesn't seem like you have to be that big overall to not fit on this ride. Well, I mean, and we're talking like actual forty inch waistline versus pant size because people get pant size confused. Pant sizes are actually under what your actual waist is because they want you to feel better about yourself. It's a psychology. Like I don't have a forty inch waist. I've got a thirty eight inch waist, and then you actually you know. Get a tape measure and like, oh, this is 42. <laughs> yeah. you know? It's like, oh, when you wear your pants where you're supposed to wear them, you know, near your navel and not underneath your gut, then yes, you've actually got. So this guy here, David, he doesn't look like he's that fat. And he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm just a couple inches away from that. Uh, they're talking about how uh, Shaquille O'Neal is being used to promote. I mean, he's not going to fit in this thing. Yeah, he said they're advertising Universal and they're not going to fit. Um, this is, I'm significantly overweight. My wife actually never actually served pa- past my waistline when she was pregnant, but I would still be able to get, would I still be able to get into this ride? The fact that the average U S waistline is 40 inches is absolutely insane. <laughs> um, yeah. So it, it's just going to be a problem because, um, a lot of people are going to come to this not knowing and they're not going to fit. And it's really embarrassing to have to go to the test, ve- the test ride vehicle or get up to the front and then be told, Hey, you don't fit. And Universal, sadly, a lot of the rides are not made for people that are heavier. It's just the way it is. Yeah. They said, here's the thing. They said our first priority, um, this is coming from uh, a company that has built premier rides. They built coasters for Six Flags, SeaWorld, and Universal. So our first priority is always the safety of the guests and the employees. We balance that with a very focused effort to make the rides as accessible as this possible. This doesn't seem very accessible. Well, here's, here's their rationale. And this probably is true. They said, yet rides with full containment might not... Fit larger adults. If you size every seat for the largest possible person, you're guaranteeing that a smaller child cannot ride. Um, this person who worked as an Imagineer at Disney for 30 years. So that that's probably true. I mean, if the seats are too big and too open, kids you are going to fly, fly out. out. So it makes you wonder how how fast is this ride? From my eyes, what I've seen, it's not. It's mostly you're, it's mostly stuff on the on the glasses. The three D glasses, the VR glasses, what they give you. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't look like it's not like test track fast or anything. No, it's mostly screens and you know, like it kind of reminds me of Toy Story Mania. That's that's you know. I'm just saying, be prepared because you know you might go into this ride and not be. You might go down to to make this whole trek down to Universal um, Hollywood, and then you get to Super Nintendo World, and this is like the only ride that's open right there for this. And then you get there and you can't ride it. You know, just be prepared for this. Yeah, it wouldn't. This would suck people who already have trips planned and tickets bought. And then you're like, I'm not going to be able to ride it. And I wouldn't have bought if I had known that. Well, they did this with um, Avatar, too. I remember when Pandora opened, a lot of people had issues with the ride vehicles on Flight of Passage. It wasn't oh, yeah. It wasn't fitting on the ride. The problem is they have leg restraints and people couldn't fit their 
thicker legs into the leg restraints. They might not be a heavy set person, but they might have thicker legs or something else that was causing them problems. And my little tip for you there is make sure you put your legs the whole way up to the front before at the very beginning when you sit down. And that way you can get them wedged up there as far as you can if you're worried you're not going to fit. Yeah, I had a problem the first time I wrote it because I, I didn't do that. And it was actually uncomfortable because I was being bent in a weird angle. But I'm like, yeah, I got to go all the way up. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean... It's, this is going to be an ongoing issue, but the, especially the more intense the ride is, the more restraints need to be put in place to keep people safe. If they're going upside down, if they're, you know, again, doing, you know, any kind of motorcycle vehicle or high speed vehicle, it's not like a Disney dark ride where, you know, it goes real slow and you just have a lap bar and that's it. So it's going to keep happening. It's not just a universal thing, but I, you know. It is pr more predominant universal than at Disney yes. parks. I can tell you for a fact that Disney parks are more poo size friendly than, that's what they call it, than uh, universal parks are. Well, I think, and I think a lot of that is because universal rides tend to be more um, extreme than Disney rides. Well, too. I have trouble because, you know, some people have, might be not so big, but they have bigger chests. And I have trouble with some of the rides at Universal, like I, cause the bar has to come down over and my, it's not gonna latch cause my boobs are in the way. That I'm, is I, true, I can verify. You, I mean, you skipped a couple of rides. Cause, cause my boobs were gonna be in the way. Cause your boobs <laughs> so, were in the way. I mean, it's the way it is. So uh, there we go, guys. You might be too big for Mario. Um, there are tips out there if you're a plus size guest at Universal, but I would say Universal, especially half the rides are off the menu. Pretty much. And I'm, I'm hoping that it, that they take notes from this and when it comes to Universal Orlando, that they may adjust the ride vehicles to make them. Because this doesn't look like a ride that you need to be that that restrictive on. That they can maybe adjust the, the ride vehicles a bit so that it can, you know, accommodate more individuals. Because this is very limited. Yeah. 40 inches is pretty not, it's pretty small. Yeah, we're dealing with a lot of gamers here, guys. Just, so, mean, you, just, just so you know. I mean, like I mean, a 40-inch so you know. waist isn't like that big. I mean, it's big. I mean, you're, you're overweight, obviously. Well, some people aren't, but you know. Well, if your chest is bigger than 40. Just well, I think those, I don't know, it goes by your waist. Is it the lap bar? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So there it is. Make sure you, you know, I guess either go on a diet or measure yourself before you go down. So well, it know, opens on like the 17th. So people have plans to be there when it opens. I don't think they're gonna be able to go down to a 40 inch waist because they're significantly Stop larger. Stop for two and a half weeks and see what happens. <laughs> I don't know. We gotta don't wrap, do that. We gotta wrap it up. Yes. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.